it feels like I come second an awful lot. It's kind of like the Harlem Shake. At first you're like, hey, that's cool. But once you've seen enough of them, you want to punch yourself in the face. I had a good swim out at Tromblon last weekend. I love beach starts. Often, in deep water starts, things can make you feel kind of shaking up, kind of crazy right now. It's often like coming out of the water, I was happy to be with Jesse Thomas and Leon Griffin, also not far behind the great swimmer David Kahn. Early on the bike, I gave it a few tries to get away. As I passed Leon and Jesse, I asked Jesse what would happen if I dropped him. He was like, It would be extremely painful. And I was like, You're a big guy. For you. After a couple more of my failed attempts to get away solo, Jesse blitzed the four minute climb and got away from me over the top. As much as I love getting dropped while riding over 400 watts in the middle of an Ironman, I didn't think much of it. I thought, he's going too hard, he'll come back. Kind of like when you first look at the musician Noah. You're pretty sure he'll be all squeak and no growl, but then you realize. I remember when, I remember when I lost my mind. So you have to make sure you heard right. Does that make me crazy? In the last 40 kilometers of the bike, I lost over a minute, and by no means was I riding poorly. Coming off the bike, I had my fingers crossed Jesse may crack a bit near the end of the run, so I ran for my life. By the far turnaround, I had lost a bit more time, but still kept some pressure on until I could make sure he wasn't going to falter. With five kilometers to go, I got another split. Still nothing. At that point, I resigned myself to another second place in as many weeks. I'm happy enough and raced well. But Coach Paulo, who loves to win, was like,